argan oil, tree gods, and stray cats. Morocco became the first African nation to reach the World Cup semi-finals in Qatar in 2022. Welcome to Wisdom of Africa, your weekly wisdom dosage. In this video, I'll break down the meaning of five proverbs from the Kingdom of Morocco. Proverb number one from Morocco says, if you have to beg, beg the rich people. Come on, you think about it. Would you drink from an empty cup? Would you really? Of course not. Yeah? So if you're going to ask for money or for any other resource for that matter, ask somebody who has it in abundance. I mean, you think about it, even the rich people per se, yeah? They aren't afraid to ask for funding if they need um, more resources to help them with their projects and stuff like that. But they're not going to a, a poor person to ask or to ask somebody that doesn't have. Of course, they only ask for somebody who has it in abundance or somebody that has it, has the resource or the money a bit more than what they have. So what is, what's this telling us? If you're going to beg, beg from the rich. And I'll give you an example. Hmm? I mean, do you honestly think, for example, that the rich nations are going to ask other rich nations for resources such as copper, diamond, argan oil? Of course not. You know why? Because the rich nations don't have it in abundance. But you know what they'll do? They'll come to Africa, the abundant continent. My piece of advice is do not beg from the poor. Beg from the rich people. And it brings me to proverb number two from Morocco, which says, never say I regret. Always say I learned. What is this proverb telling us and what does it mean? What it's telling us and the meaning is that if anyone, anyone tries anything new, anybody, they are bound to make mistakes. Yeah, it could be parenting mistake. It could be a mistake at a new job, a mistake in school, mistake in relationships, you name it. It doesn't make you a failure. Stop listening to what people are telling you. Making mistakes does not make you a failure. Learn from your mistakes, improve and keep making progress. Like Tom Bellew says, failure is the most rich data information source you will ever, ever encounter during your lifetime on earth. Thank you so much for this proverb. I, for one, have learned a lot. I don't regret anything. I have learned. And I want to give you a travel tip. Um, I, I, do I talk about countries that I've visited a lot? Sorry, I'm not even sure enough, but I must say I've been to Morocco and it's beautiful. You must, must visit Morocco. But anyway, travel tip for you. If you ever, ever travel to Morocco, get off the beaten path of Marrakesh market and take a trip to Magound Valley. It's the Valley of Roses where you can smell, you can shop, or you can just ah like see those roses. Every year, 4,000 tons of fresh rose flowers are harvested to be used in the marketing of local beauty products. And this happens in Morocco. Did you know that? Anyway. It brings us to proverb number three. Proverb number three from Morocco says, the solace is huge and the dead is a mouse. This particular proverb is said when there's a big problem or a conflict 
and reason is trivial. Yeah? There is such a big problem, there's such a big conflict, but the reason for it is very small. It's, it's minute, it's a non starter. Conflict, you know, I, I'm not putting down the small um, or the reasons why we have conflicts in, on our continent, um, tribal conflicts, family disagreement. Sometimes in the grand scheme of things, actually the reasoning is something so small and so trivial that we can actually like, come on, just sort it out. Think about it. Solace is huge. Yeah. The dead is just a mouse. That is that proverb from Morocco for you. And it brings us to proverb number four, my favorite proverb this time round, and it's not proverb three, but proverb number four from Morocco, my favorite. And it says, if peaches were a remedy, they would kill themselves first. Stop and think about it. Yeah, it's about a person, in this case, the peach, the one who claims that he can solve other people's problems when in reality they can't even solve their own look at what's happening in the world today hmm? some people telling us they can come and solve our continent's pro problems but when you actually look deep 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 inside can they solve their own i don't think so Food for thought. I need to ask you a question and do leave me some comments. Did you know that Morocco was the first country to recognize the United States as a country? Did you know that? When the United States declared its independence, Morocco opened its ports and began trading with the United States in 1777. That was less than one year after the United States had actually declared independence. Did you know that? That's a lesson for you. After all, it's wisdom of Africa, right? And it brings us to our last proverb from Morocco, which is proverb number five. And it says, The world it has not promised anything to anybody the world does not owe you anything but you you owe yourself everything everything so roll yourself up and go get after it go and get it whatever that it is for you what is the it is it starting your business is it the job is it marriage it, it whatever it is you're entitled to that it yeah but you owe yourself yourself that it did you know that in morocco love passion it comes from the liver not from the heart morocco you've conquered my liver and as the saying goes knowledge without wisdom is like water in the sun so, if you like this video, you're going to love this one.